So I tried out the quick play version of a roll queue and, well, some of you guys might be wondering, is it any better? Perhaps you already have your own opinion and just want it reinforced, maybe you are curious about my thoughts, or maybe you are considering to reinstall Overwatch and want to know if it's worth your time. Whatever the reason, in today's video I want to show you what I think about Blizzard's implementation of Roll Queue in quick play. Let's be honest here, it's difficult to get a good assessment of how Roll Queue feels in competitive play because of that whole transitioning period we are currently in. Roll Queue has, both in comp and quick play, a major effect on how we are playing the game. Though, since competitive play puts your skill rating on the line, feelings tend to be a little stronger. The fact that we still hate the current meta is not exactly helpful because it is not easy for people to assess Roll Queue in comp without also considering hero balance and meta play. But it also it also makes more sense for me to talk about quick play over comp because quite frankly I spent more of my time playing casually than competitively these days anyway. Well, that is if I'm not playing Classic WoW. First and foremost, we have to identify what Roll Queue is aiming to fix for me personally. I generally prefer playing Mystery Heroes simply because Quick Play as an unmoderated environment would be home to many different playstyles. There are people who want to warm up for competitive play, people who just want to have fun, people who want to practice new heroes, and people who want to piss other people off. Though I have a hard time actually giving them the benefit of calling them people. That's a lot of different kinds of people, and these ideas very often end up clashing. Try hard are yelling at casuals for not taking the casual game more seriously and players who just want to relax end up getting destroyed by others who play very seriously to warm up for comp. For a long time, we had a discussion around the idea of implementing an unranked game mode that coexists next to quick play. The problem, however, is not necessarily that we are lacking separate game modes. It only becomes an issue when the game mode is not clearly defined. So long that you don't define what a game mode is for, it does not matter how many more you add, because people are gonna go wherever anyway. If not trying was bannable in unranked, then the tryhards would feel inclined to go there for the warm-up as opposed to quick play, where you can't find a lot of team play and coordination. Nation. However, not trying is already not bannable in competitive play, so what good does it do to add an unranked game mode? You see the problem. Since Blizzard never defined what quick play is, other than loosely defining it as a casual game mode, without actually enforcing any strict rule sets in competitive play, quick play ended up being home to everyone who was not currently interested in flushing their skill rating down the drain. And since it didn't specifically cater to any particular type of player, it ended up making for a really poor gameplay experience for most of them. So did Roll Queue fix that problem? Yes and no. While there is an argument to be made for quick play classic attracting players who really don't care and are not interested in trying hard, the fact that this game mode is buried in the arcade makes it a very unappealing option. You will still get people who don't care and people who care too much. However, it does fix a different facet of that issue. Not trying could previously be identified in a number of ways, one of which was playing heroes that make absolutely no sense, even though your team is in need of a different role. That is now gone. Yes, players can still pick heroes that are not optimal, but the fact that you will always have two tanks, two supports and two DPS makes a tremendous difference. Because a lot of these 2 2 2 compositions are, by nature, more functional than most of the other comps that were previously run. Don't get me wrong, a 5 DPS comp can totally work, but it would work for all the wrong reasons. Blizzard is now trying to define what Overwatch actually is. And Overwatch, at the end of the day, is about a 6v6 battle between two tanks, two supports, and two DPS on each side. It gives clarity to the idea of the game, it finally gives a direction, and it immediately feels more functional. Keyword being more functional, not totally functional. As much as not every comp was good back then, not every comp is good now. It just makes it exponentially more likely that you're going to have a similar experience going from match to match. You don't have to do advanced algebra in your head about how to make a quad DPS comp work that you have never seen before. It takes a lot of the randomness out of the equation and as such makes for a more curated experience. Now, one thing is very important here. This is eventually going to become standard. When I first got into Roll Queue in Quick Play, it immediately felt more fun to play. You see, I usually have some type of video run on my other monitor while I'm playing Overwatch. Because quite frankly, it used to be such a clown fiesta that I needed something to take my mind off of what kind of garbage was going on in front of me. And I did the same thing when I play Quick Play now. Except when the video ended, I totally forgot to put another one on. Why? Because even when I lost, and even when the enemies ran an annoying composition, the game felt immediately more fun. It felt more fair, and it felt more functional. And that to the point where it actually made me want to focus on the game itself. But again, this is going to become standard. 
Back when Blizzard introduced the hero limit, a lot of us were excited about how much more functional the game felt and how people can no longer stack really annoying comps. But we got used to it. It became the status quo, it no longer felt special, and as such, we found new things to complain about. When I say that I did not mind losing because the row queue is a new feature in quick play and it made the game feel more fun and more fair, I am also acknowledging that part of the reason why that happens is because of the novelty factor. Once that novelty has worn off, I will probably get just as annoyed about Symmetra one tricks as I did back then. No offense to Sim OTPs, I actually have kind of a guilty pleasure for playing her myself. Anyway, point being, row queue was not a silver bullet for comp in the same way it is not a silver bullet for quick play. I can confidently say that that for all the reasons that I did not enjoy quick play, Roll Queue has vastly improved my enjoyment of that game mode. I'm actually seriously considering playing it more than Mystery Heroes now, which has not been the case since, well, since they introduced Mystery Heroes. But it just brings so many good things with it. You are much more likely to enjoy your favorite heroes because you are now playing in a more curated environment. I hated playing Zenyatta in quick play because the enemies were running an assortment of two snipers and four flankers which made the game a nightmare for me. But now, you can only have two flankers. And if you have two flankers, you can't also have two snipers. That simple fact is already hugely contributing to a more fun experience. But because I also know that all the roles will always be covered, I can confidently pick up new heroes to practice them. I no longer have to choose between making my team comp functional and practicing something I'm excited about. With that said, it also comes with its downsides. Before they introduce a role queue, I always made the argument that I could pull my weight to an extent where I will rank up fairly easily until I get close to my skill cap even when I play support. It's what people refer to as carrying in kind of a loose sense. But now, since there are simply more DPS heroes than anything else, DPS players actually have a massive burden and responsibility. A lot of problems are created and thusly have to be solved by DPS players. If the enemies are running Farah Mercy, then chances are that at least one of your DPS is going to have to switch to a hit scan, and no other role really has the option to effectively counter that in any direct way. So, if your DPS players refuse to live up to that responsibility, games can very quickly feel unwinnable. Quite frankly, it feels like running suboptimal tanks and supports does not hurt your team as much as running suboptimal DPS heroes. But that's only from my experience, and I very much felt that burden when I queued for the DPS slot. It's honestly kind of stressful, because I have no idea about the current meta and thusly I also didn't know what heroes made sense. It's like I was playing mystery heroes in the DPS slot all over again. But actual DPS players might feel differently about that, so definitely keep an eye out on the comment section. So I guess the conclusion is that, after hearing all of these things, you probably already know whether you want to play role queue in quick play or not. For me personally, I think it's a big step forward, and it makes the game feel much more playable. It takes away some of the random BS that I always hated. There's obviously still more random BS in the game, but those are problems that need to be addressed differently than with role queue. So let me hear your thoughts. After all, not everybody is a competitive player. What do you think about role queue and quick play? Do you prefer it, or do you still rather go back to quick play classic? I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. But that's it for me here today. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like on your way out if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope to see you guys next time.